A short beginner's guide on how to pray Salah. Starting your journey of Salat to connect to your Creator with simple step-by-step -step instructions. Written by The Sincere Seeker from The Sincere Seeker Collection. Narrated by Austin Van Fleet. How do we pray Salah prayer? Now that you completed your wudu ablution, let's go over how each unit of prayer is performed. Before you connect with Allah, you must start by setting an intention in your heart for the prayer you are about to perform. There is no need to verbalize your intention. Now you're ready to start the prayer. You start by raising both your hands to shoulder or ear height. Do not place your hands together. Instead, keep them shoulder width apart and your feet shoulder width apart. And you say, Allah Akbar, which translates to Allah is greater. In almost every movement of the prayer, you will say Allah Akbar, which will constantly remind you Allah is greater than what you were doing, saying, thinking, and is greater than everything. Keep your eyes looking down at the ground in front of you where your head would be placed when you prostrate. It's essential to stay concentrated on your prayer and not look around, which would disturb you from your prayers. You should not close your eyes during prayers. Then you place your right hand over your left hand on your lower chest area. Placing your hands a little higher or a little lower is fine. You can have your right hand hold your left wrist, left hand, or left forearm. Then you recite the opening dua supplication known in Arabic as dua alistifta. This is a sunnah to recite, so it's optional, and there is no harm in skipping it. You say, Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik wa tabarak asmuk wa ta'ala jadduk wa la ilaha ghayruk. Glory and praise be to you, O Allah. Blessed be your name and exalted be your majesty. There is none worthy of worship except you. There are other optional dua supplications you can recite instead. Then we seek refuge in Allah from the cursed shaitan, and then we recite the first chapter of the Holy Quran called Surat Al-Fatiha, the opener. A'udhu billahi min rajim I seek refuge in Allah from Satan the accursed. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, most merciful. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praise is for Allah, Lord of all worlds. Ar-Rahmanirrahim. The most compassionate, most merciful. Maliki Yawmiddin, Master of the Day of Judgment. You alone we worship, and you alone we seek for help. Guide us along the straight path. The path of those who you have blessed, not those who you are displeased with, or those that went astray. Ameen. Then it is sunnah to read a short chapter or a few verses of your choice from the Holy Quran. However, suppose you are praying behind an imam and he recites loudly. In that case, you can either recite chapter Al-Fatiha after the Imam completes the chapter of Al-Fatiha, or you cannot recite it. If you are praying behind an Imam and he recites loudly, there is no need to recite a small chapter or a few verses of the Quran. Then you raise your hands to your shoulder or ear height and say, Allah Akbar, God is greater. Then you go to a bowing position with both your hands on your knees and fingers spread a little with your back and head lined up straight, with your elbows raised and tucked in and not outward, and say at least one time, silently, three are recommended. Subhana Rabbi al -Azim. Glory to my Lord the Exalted. 
Then, rise while raising both your hands to your shoulder or ear height once, and say, Allah hears whoever praises him. O our Lord, all praise is to you. Then you slightly pause for a second with either your right hand over your left hand a little under your chest, or with both hands relaxed straight on your sides. Then you fall into prostration while saying Allah Akbar, God is greater, falling with either your hands or knees first. Place your forehead touching the ground. The seven body parts that should touch the ground include your face with a nose, two hands, two knees, and two feet, all pointing forward. Do not place your elbows on the floor. Keep them pointed up, inward, and do not rest your stomach on your thighs. Keep your belly away from sitting on your stomach to the best of your ability. While in prostration, called sujud in Arabic, you say silently at least once, three is recommended, Subhana Rabbi al -A Glory be to my Lord, the Most High. There are optional dua supplications one can say after this. You can also make dua supplication for whatever you want. For example, you can ask Allah for guidance, forgiveness, health, wealth, etc. You can make dua supplication here in any language, as Allah understands all languages. You are closest to Allah when you are in the sujood prostration, so make a lot of dua supplication if you please. Then you raise upright from your prostration position while saying, Allah Akbar, God is greater, with your knees bent and palms placed on your thighs near your knees. Your right foot should be straight and you sit on your left foot, keeping it horizontal to the ground while saying twice silently, Lord, forgive me. There are other dua supplications one can say instead. Then, prostrate to the ground again while saying, Allah Akbar, God is greater. And you repeat the same words on the prostration page. Subhana Rabbi al -A Glory be to my Lord, the Most High. After that, you have completed one unit of prayer called rakah in Arabic. You would then get up while saying Allah Akbar, God is greater, and pray the second unit of prayer, repeating all the same steps above starting from reading the first chapter of the Holy Quran called Surat Al-Fatiha, the opener. After finishing two units of prayer, one should sit on his knees with his hands on his thighs near his knees. You sit on your left foot, keeping it horizontal, and your right foot straight up, vertically, with your toes pointing toward the Qibla, Mecca. With your right hand, you point your index finger toward the Qibla, toward Mecca, the direction we pray, making a circle with your thumb and middle finger. Or you can make a fist with all your fingers except for your index finger, which should be pointed. You can keep your pointed finger still, or slowly move it up and down, and look down at your finger and down in the area where your head was on. Then, recite silently what is known as the Tashahud. All compliments, prayers, and beautiful expressions are for God. Peace be upon you, O Prophet, and Allah's mercy and blessings are on you. And peace be upon us and on the good, pious worshippers of Allah. I bear that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah, and that Muhammad is his slave and apostle. Then you recite what is known as the Dua al Ibrahimiya, the prayer of Ibrahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad. 
كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد O oh Allah, send your grace, honor, and mercy upon Muhammad and upon the family of Muhammad as you sent your grace, honor, and mercy upon Ibrahim. You are indeed worthy of praise, full of glory. O oh Allah, send your blessings upon Muhammad and the family of Muhammad as you sent your blessings upon Ibrahim. You are indeed worthy of praise, full of glory. Note, there are a few different variations of these dua supplications. They are all valid to recite. Then, you can recite an optional dua supplication seeking refuge in Allah from four things. The punishment of hellfire, the punishment of the grave, the trial of life and death, and the evil of the trial of the Antichrist. اللهم إني أعوذ بك من عذاب جهنم ومن عذاب القبر ومن فتنة المحيا والممات ومن شر فتنة المسيح الدجال O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you against the punishment of hellfire, the punishment of the grave, the trial of life and death, and the evil of the trial of the Antichrist. Then you can recite any dua supplications of your choice and ask Allah for anything you want. Then you would conclude your prayer by turning your head to the right first while saying, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace and the mercy of Allah be upon you. Then you turn your head to the left and repeat the same words. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace and the mercy of Allah be upon you. You have now completed a two unit prayer. May your prayers connect you closer to Allah and reward you in this world and the hereafter. But note, some prayers are more than two units, so please read on to learn how to proceed with more than two units. <laughs>